What's up guys and welcome back to my Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon video and today I thought I'd take a little aside and not do so much speculation but answer a question. Are we getting less information in terms of you know revealing for Sun and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon than we have been getting in the past because a big complaint I've seen on Reddit, in the comment section, on Twitter is that you know we had the games released what two months ago or revealed not released um, two months ago and we've heard basically nothing since the only thing we've heard is this new form for like Canarock Dusk form uh, since that reveal and that's basically it and that doesn't really seem that exciting anyway because it's just an event it's been two months and we still got what three and a half months left to go and some people are criticizing the fact that we've had no information at all and it's just not getting you hyped now of course that might change when the information actually starts getting revealed but by that point people might have forgotten or given up anyway but we'll see how that goes sort of pans out when we get there but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to do a study against one of the previous third you know games uh, and figure out are we getting less, less information than we got back at that now unfortunately because of the format of the games being so different nowadays um you know we originally had a simple format we had like remakes two games and a third version with emerald and platinum then we had generation 5 we had black and white and then black 2 and white 2 that might seem like a similar thing to sun moon ultra sun and ultra moon but unfortunately black 2 black black 2 and white 2 were literally like sequels there was a lot more to actually go over in the games because you had three years later a new plot line entirely changed in the region whereas ultra sun and ultra moon look like look to be similar to platinum or, or emerald where you have the same plot line but with an update basically so unfortunately Black 2 and White 2 aren't, aren't good enough, I suppose, uh, and obviously we had Generation 6, X, Y and Auras, neither of those really fit the bill, so we had just Generation 7. So what I'm comparing against is going to be Pokemon Platinum, because that is the most recent game that fits the style closest to what Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon seem to be bringing, you know, the same games, but with an update to them, and slight changes, but not too much, so not quite the same as Black 2 White 2 because of course those were sequels as I've said with new plot lines entirely these seem to be just updates so looking at Pokemon Platinum and you know comparing it to what we have so far now of course the difference with that is Pokemon Platinum came out in 2008 back when the releases were staggered so we had Japan Japan got the games and then it was like six months later almost in some cases that the rest of the world got the games. so it is slightly different nowadays and of course nowadays we have stuff like Nintendo Direct Pokemon Direct which is quite a different way of revealing information, whereas back in the day it was mostly Koro Koro bringing out most information, but we can generally give, it, give a good sort of good comparison. So to look at the two next side by side, Platinum was initially revealed or leaked, I guess you could say, by Koro Koro on the 11th or around the 11th of May 2008. Similarly, Ultra Sun Ultra Moon was revealed on June the 6th, 2017. Okay, so that means that up to release date, which obviously for Platinum was September 2008 and for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon would be November 2017, there was a total of 4 months difference between Platinum and its release, Platinum's reveal and release, and there will be a total of 5 and, and a bit, 5 and a quarter months difference between Ultra Sun's reveal and release. So it's a slightly longer release period, I guess because also we had E3 uh, and obviously the Pokemon Direct was like a week before E3, but that's you know irrelevant. Uh, but they, you know, it's the sort of, sort of time they needed to reveal at, so that's how that pans out there. And as I said, it's slightly different how they do it nowadays. Without Koro Koro taking the brunt of it, it's mostly directs and streams and whatnot. So a slightly extra long release period, so that might need to factor in later on. But looking at how Platinum's sort of panned out on the reveal or you know the initial launch of it, we had Koro Koro revealing it at Platinum than in the game, as well as Giratina's new form, the Origin form, and we had a similar thing for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. We had the game reveal, a short trailer, which of course we didn't get for Platinum, uh, and then two forms, obviously for Soul Glare and Lunar. We haven't had any information about the forms yet, whereas with the, with the Giratina one, we had like, one or two details. Hence, it was called the Origin form. Um, so there are slight differences there, but generally it's the same. And you could argue Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon it showed more than Platinum, even though we didn't get that much because Platinum was like one or two screenshots when it was first revealed and obviously we had a short trailer for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Then looking at how the information panned out after that, the next proper reveal of information for Platinum was not until the 10th of June 2008, so about basically a month later, and this information covered the Shaman form, the distortion world in a bit more depth, and it also showed you the characters, uh, because of course in Platinum, if you remember, we had the update to the Sinnoh region where it was a bit colder, hence the protagonists got a bit more of a, you know, heavy winter sort of outfits and that's what they revealed in that Korra Korra issue and that's basically it then um, whereas obviously in a month for Ultra Sun Ultra Moon we had nothing because the first bit of information revealed to us was on 6th of August about a week ago and that was obviously like Camrock Dusk and that was two months to the day after the games were revealed so 
a double, you know, tw you know, twice the distance between the reveal and the first information coming out was what we have for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And what we, have, we saw then for Platinum after that was there was some information on 10th of July where you had Galactic update, you know, they were being featured still, the Battle Frontier was revealed, a new gal Galactic admin, and stuff like that carried on from there. So, although there was a big difference, you know, tw twice the difference between the first information reveal for Platinum and for this game, or for these games I should say, um, it might be the fact that because as I mentioned, the reveal period was a month longer, or will be a month longer for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, that might be factoring into the fact that we didn't get information for a month, and now on the four month mark they're going to start ramping up. Now the difference of course is Rukureka actually was Sun and Moon's reveal period, that was a big game because there were all these new Pokemon they could reveal, you know, bits and you know, every week, but well, not every week, every couple of weeks we had some information coming out because there were so many Pokemon they could reveal, there were so many different stuff about the region, obviously the, um, the island trials. Now they have some stuff to reveal for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, i.e. the trials are returning, you know, all of the gyms is returning, or there are some new characters, but there's not as much. There is a lot less information to actually tell us about than there was originally with Sun and Moon, hence why you know, we're getting a lot less. Sun and Moon was probably the most involved reveal release period we had for any Pokemon game because there was so much information and then we kept getting loads and you could say that they spoiled too much. Some people were arguing that at the time. Um, but of course going from that to a normal standard reveal period, especially for a third game where there's not much information, can be a big come down and might be the reason why people are actually feeling like we're not getting any information. But we'll have to see in the next month or so whether information starts coming out in drips and drabs. I think the main people, reason people are actually quite angry at the moment is because we had like Carrot Dust revealed and that was cool. And then it was like, oh yeah, by the way, event only. You have to get an event rock rough and evolve it and that's how you get it. You can't breed it, you can't catch it in the wild, that's it, event only. That's why people are annoyed right now, and I can understand that, I'm quite annoyed myself. But we'll see in the next month or so if the reveals and the information starts picking up and then see how that goes. But that is going to be it for today, so of course let me know down below in the comment section what you think. Do you think that the reveal period is normal? You know, just people just, you know, as I said, um, not going straight from the, the very involved reveal period of Sun and Moon to Ultra Sun and the Moon? Or do you think that, you know, Pokemon companies are slipping a bit with these reveals and not really generating enough hype for the games? Let me know down below in the comment section, but for now, that is going to be it for today, so I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.